Now let's talk about what's happening in Ukraine. The emergency services issued air raid alerts in the early hours this morning for the capital Kyiv, along with most of the central and east of the country. The military administration in Kyiv said their air defense systems were repelling Russian attacks on the capital. Today's attacks came a day after Russia launched its biggest drone swarm yet in a renewed air campaign unleashed 10 days ago after a lull since early March. While all those over uh, Kyiv had been shot down, debris had hit apartment buildings. Later today, Russia is gearing up for its annual Victory Day events. When the country celebrates the defeat of Nazi Germany in the Second World War, you can see here a full-scale rehearsal that took place on Sunday. Additional security measures are in place this year after a series of attacks that the Kremlin blames on Ukraine. Well, let's go live to Moscow now to speak to our correspondent there, Will Vernon. Uh, Will, tell us about today's events in Moscow. Well, of course, several events have already taken place uh, in a number of Russian cities, but you know the main event is here in Moscow, a huge military parade uh, on Red Square, presided over uh, by President Putin. Uh, you know, the 9th of May is usually a day of kind of remembrance uh, and celebration here when people mark the defeat uh, of Nazi Germany in, in the Second World War. But I think there's a very different mood today, and that is one of nervousness uh, and insecurity. And that is because, you know, there have been a whole series uh, of drone attacks and explosions uh, and incidents of sabotage right across the country uh, in recent weeks. You know, oil depots set on fire, freight trains derailed. Uh, and, you know, it's not completely clear who's behind these acts. Russia blames Ukraine and the West. You know, Kiev and others deny that. Uh, but, of course, the most serious incident was uh, last week, you know, that attack on the Kremlin itself. The, you know, the very heart uh, of Russian power and the, and the famous kind of backdrop uh, for today's military parade. Uh, and the Kremlin said that, you know, these were two Ukrainian drones and, and they linked that attack uh, to the preparations uh, for today's events. Now, again, we don't know uh, who did this or, or what really happened. Uh, but I think it does show that the Kremlin is very nervous about what might happen today. Uh, and the authorities have already said that uh, security measures uh, have been tightened.